Hey everyone, it's Dan and Mike, and we're here with our beer draft. And what are we going to be drinking today, Dan? All right, so today we've got another beer from Devil's Backbone, okay. which is uh, one of our local breweries there in Lexington, Virginia. And this is their Schwarz beer, a German style black lager. Okay, so I think you're probably going to like it. You like the German oh, yeah, beers? Oh, yeah, I love the German beers. <laughs> now, we didn't have much luck with uh, Devil's Backbone before with the String Duster Multi Grain yeah, Ale. That's true. Make sure you check out that video. But. Um, I, you know, I'm willing to give him another shot. I've got good hopes for this one. I think it's going to be good. So let's go ahead and crack this open. All right. So yeah, Devil's Backbone has really been trying to increase their footprint here in Virginia. I'm not sure if they've started distributing more nationwide yet or not, but I know that I've seen a lot more from them in stores. They've got their adventure packs. Oh yeah, I've seen have, a couple of those. Um, several different beers. So the one that I picked up had four different ones. The aforementioned String Duster, this Black Lager, and then a couple more, which uh, the folks at home will just have to wait to see what they are. All right, so German style Black Lager. Should be okay. opaque, should be black. I can't even see through. Good. I mean, I can barely see through it if I hold it up to the studio lights here. Yeah, but I like that style. That is a nice dark beer. Black. Um, you got a tiny bit of head on yours. I don't have just much a little bit. Mine. So let's see. It should smell kind of roasted. Hints of chocolate and coffee, maybe. I can smell that coffee. Yeah. Roasted? Hmm. Yeah, I do not, smell the not, coffee. Not as much roasted, but yeah, there's definitely a coffee flavor there. Chocolate, not so much, but... All right, let's give this one a taste. All right. All right, coffee for sure. Subtle bits of chocolate too. It's got some carbonation to it. it actually, yeah, let me like a bitter, um, very bitter chocolate. Yeah. It ran a lot of carbonation though. Mouthfeel, I think it's pretty good. Um, it's not too light, but it's also not too heavy. It feels like it's giving my mouth a nice clean coat to it. Yeah, and let's see, this is, um, 5.1%, so not a huge ABV on this beer. Now, we're probably not getting a lot of hop flavor here, because I'm imagining with these um, black lagers, they're probably not hopped very heavily. No, I don't think so, not very much. Um, it's more of those roasted malts that give it the most character, and especially the color to it. Yeah, that's good. I can't say that we've had any other black lagers yet, though. Uh, no, not yet. As far as the German beers, we had our single bock and our double bock, mm -hmm. um, but we haven't yet tried any of these black lagers. Now, what would be interesting is if we do try a black lager made by a German company. Ah, I see how it compares. That yeah. That would be interesting. Now, I do have another black lager from a U.S. company, Morlean. Okay. So we'll be trying that in the future, but we'll have to keep our eye out for an actual German black lager. Mm. So what's the verdict on this one? Is this one you're going to buy again? Uh, it's not bad. Um, I don't know if I'd get this one again because I know Devil's Backbone, they have lots of different styles. Yeah. So I'm definitely interested in trying out more of their other ones as well. Try to get a whole feel yeah. for what they're, uh, they're brewing. I, yeah, I don't think this is going to be one that is going to make it into my rotation. I appreciate that they're trying a lot of different stuff, uh, but at the same time, I mean, kind of 0 for 2 mm. with uh, Devil's Backbone as far as what we would recommend to buy again. But yeah, you know, we'll see um, with their other beers. Sure. So, and hopefully you'll see what we review in the future. Just make sure to subscribe if you want to see those videos. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you've had this Schwarz beer before. Maybe you disagree with us. Maybe you think it's better. So just let us know, and until next time, we'll see you. All right, see you.